Merry Saturnalia, one and all. And yes, I didn't say Christmas. Want to know why I didn't say Christmas? Because Christmas is not the actual holiday being celebrated here. Okay? Christmas is totally pagan. Now, I know some of you know this, and other people are probably going to hate me for saying this, but... Uh, Um, the, uh, who thinks they are because you'd be retarded if you did now secondly moving on Saturnalia was this Roman holiday where all the Romans would get super fucked up start ass working each other no, I'm not even kidding you know, start doing all these crazy fucked up things get super fucked up giving each other gifts and all that crap okay um you know, and, you know, worshipping the stars and Saturn and all that shit. And uh, I'm not going to get into Saturn. That'll be a different episode. Some of you already know what I mean when I'm talking about Saturn. But um, if you don't, well, I'll explain it to you later. Secondly, um, fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you know, not to uh, rule out, I still believe in Christ. You know, I am a Christian. And uh, all that stuff is well known. But um, one, you know, obvious Christ could, no one could have been born, you know, I mean, well, no, I'm not saying no one could have been born, but uh, Christ's birth couldn't have happened in December, or more or less winter, because of the fact that, you know, the, it was cold. And the Arabian Nights, I'm talking about like night as in dark, not as in night as in, you know, sort of, no, anyway. The Arabian Nights are harsh, very harsh, in fact. And also, shepherds, no. Nobody can farm shit in winter, okay? And everyone knows that. So, yeah, we've got those facts, okay? It probably happened around March or, you know, midsummer or something like that, you know? But I'm not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm saying that December, no. But I guess that this is the day that it's observed. So I guess we could give it that, okay? And I also, you know, give gifts, love your fellow man. I understand all of that. You know, that, that has its message. But still, nowhere in the Bible does it say and it, it, that it happened in December. And more importantly, it, it, it doesn't matter the day of his birth or how he was birthed, you know, how he was conceived. Or, well, you know, before now he conceived. But it, it's more important that how he died. Because how he died was his true purpose. You know, it, it's all that. Hold up, I'm gonna get some eggnog and thirsty and stuff. You know? But yeah, like I was saying, Christ's birth is not as important as his death. His death is what was important. That he died for our sins is the main moral, the main reason that he um, ever set foot on this earth. So, I mean, you can still get all your Xboxes and BS3s and all your fucking video games and shit from your parents, all your ducats and all that sh nice shit that, you know, people get. But, um, Oh yeah, by the way, I love eggnog. It's just amazing. Now, moving on to Santa Claus, this is what I gotta say about Santa Claus. Tell you my bells at the boss. Hands up, dance, and look like Cupid. 
I'm gonna get stupid. <laughs> Hear me, hear me, I know that he's coming, he's coming, he must. Then I know that he runs to dust. Turn out the Navy the very next day. I see you in the page, leading the parade. I know that he's getting on a little bit, and then I'm coming on a young kid. Another year in my Yankee shit. Now, at least uh, Insane Clown Posse, um, Santa is a fat bitch. He's got a good message. Santa Claus is a fat bitch only helping out his rich friends and shit. No about it. Anyway, moving on. Um, last thing I wanted to cover. See if I still have time to cover it. Oh, yeah, I got time. Okay, um, I remember um, I lit a fire. Um, you know, for the occasion, and also it's cold as fuck. So I figured I'd light a fire, you know? And, um, I noticed that the, um, the little keys that turn it on. I remember the first time I ever heard about one of these keys was right after I moved into one of my first houses when I was six years old. And, um, stepdad, or not really a dad, but just this guy, uh, long story short, my mom and me lived with him, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, he told me. Now, now, you know how like, the uh, most modern fire polices have these, you know, they're gas now, and they have the keys, keys like this. That key, and you put it in the little hole, and you turn it, and then you light on the gas, and it, you know, does a little fire, you know, and just play that. Well, um, when I was six years old, Greg told me this. Don't ever touch this, or you'll blow the house up. Yeah. I was six. What, what a horrible thing to say to a six-year-old. I mean, you know, oh yeah, touch this, we're all gonna die. You know, yeah, great one, great one. Now I see that there was a message behind that, that, you know, you turn it on, the gas keeps flowing without getting lit, somebody lights a cigarette or turns on a free, you know, like a stove or something, whole house goes up. Makes sense. But more importantly, what a horrible thing to say to a little child, okay? So I'm sitting here thinking every day, paranoid, until I'm like eight years old or nine, eight, nine years old, when I can understand the concept of the automatic fires, you know. Um, I can understand the, 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 uh, the gas, you know, things. I, I I was shooting self-destruct button in it. Yeah, that's great. That's real fucking great. Don't think it's so, what is so we bring We're all dead, you know? Great. Just great. Just beautiful. So thank you, Greg, for fucking me up like that. Um, I'm fine now, you know. I know what it does, and I know what he meant, but still, what a fucked up thing to say. Um, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please rate and comment. Also, I'd like to, um, one more thing. I'd like to uh, point out this one show that I've been watching. It's the Ray William Johnson show. Check it out on YouTube. Um, it's funny. This guy does like, you know, like, um, he covers like, wow, viral videos on YouTube and totally just blasts them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to catch you later. Uh, peace. I'm going to go eat my ham now. Motherfucker.